Good day to all. Welcome to the presentation of my research entitled Measuring Cognitive Load of Pre-Service Students in Blended Laboratory Setting Toward Enhanced Learning in Chemistry. I am yours truly, Mrs. Rosalde de Orbano from Bulacan Agricultural State College. The main components of my study are cognitive load and blended laboratory setting. According to John Sweller, the proponent of cognitive load theory, cognitive load is a total amount of mental activity imposed on the learner at a specific time, and this can be conceptualized as mental load, mental effort, and performance. In this study, the cognitive load was measured using the combined approach, which include the two cognitive load aspects the mental effort, and the performance. Reviewed studies made it clear how vital for the educators to be creative to improve the engagement and interest of the students to actively participate on the conduct of the study and in the process, enhance the students' learning. The rich combination of both conventional and virtual laboratories provides the best learning environment for the students. For the methodology, Two inter classes are selected where the students are subjected to blended laboratory setting. After orientation was done, a pretest was administered to all the respondents prior to the experimentation. The pretest was necessary so as to evaluate students' baseline knowledge in inorganic chemistry. The test covered topics in inorganic chemistry, and these are atomic structure, periodic table, periodic trends, chemical bonding, and chemical formula. The test was administered to determine and evaluate the student's learning. Respondents were given one hour to answer the achievement test, and reliability test was done through measuring the Cronbach alpha by administering the test to students who are not the respondents of the study. The calculated Cronbach alpha was found to be 0 0.81. According to Pass et al. 2014, mental effort is the characteristic of cognitive load that concerns to the cognitive capacity that is essentially assigned to accommodate the demands compelled by the task. Thus, it can be contemplated to suggest the actual cognitive load and it has been observed sensitive to small differences in cognitive load, valid, reliable, and non-intrusive. On the other hand, performance was ascertained based on the data sheets, which includes concept questions and problem solving that were answered at the end of the performance of activities. Now let us consider the highlights of my study. The results of the analysis uh, shows that for 39 secondary students from Section A and 38 students from Section B, a total number of 77 respondents, their scores in the test represent the level of the knowledge of the respondents in selected topics in inorganic chemistry prior to exposure to blended laboratory setting. The scores of the respondents fall below half the total points of the test. Thus, this seems to suggest that the students have weak foundation on selected concepts in chemistry. The results also are indication that the two sections have the similar understanding on best basic principles in chemistry. For the statistical results of the significant difference of the performance of the respondents, before and after exposure to blended laboratory setting, paired sample t-test was evaluated for this purpose. The respondents were subjected to blended laboratory setting for the entire semester, but the actual data gathering only started after the preliminary examination was administered. After the treatment period, the respondents answered the achievement test as their post-test, which has the same structure with the pretest. A significant difference was found between the pretest and post-test mean results of the respondents. So what does it mean? This signifies that the students learn or gain conceptual understanding in performing activities using blended laboratory setting. One reason why blended laboratory work, because blended learning has become a new form of learning and teaching in science education. Researchers have indicated that the blended learning could create more meaningful environment in learning, support this level of understanding, and contribute to better learning environment. Next, we also calculate 
are established correlation analysis between cognitive load levels and students enhance learning in inorganic chemistry via blended laboratory setting. So the cognitive load aspects measured are mental effort and performance. Cognitive load questionnaire consists of 15 statements was used to measure mental effort, while the performance are the scores of the students on the data sheets that includes concept questions and problem solving. So among the seven activities performed where the students reported their mental effort only on activity number one, which is a virtual activity, has a sig registered a significant weak positive relationship to the performance in chemistry. This seems to suggest that the higher the cognitive load experienced by the students in performing the activity, the better is the performance in chemistry. Next, also, a correlation test was done to check if relationship exists between the student's performance and post-test scores. The student's performance scores from activity number two, which is a conventional activity, establish a significant weak negative correlation with the post-test scores. So this means that the higher the performance score, the lower the score in the post-test results. This may imply that students may be able to carry out well the activity, but not able to sustain the knowledge obtained in the performance of the activity in the post-test. So it can be said that students may seem to be interested in the activity, but fail to connect the learnings in the laboratory with concept discussed in the lecture. So this is usually the case that students may do perform well in the laboratory, but unable to bridge their laboratory experience with the lecture. Then finally, we have now the conclusions. So based on the findings of the study, the following conclusions were drawn. Using blended laboratory settings may cause the significant difference within the performance of the students before and after exposure to it. Revisiting and modifying laboratory activities may ensure that students do not experience cognitive load, but instead promote better understanding of the concept discussed from the lecture. Then finally, blended laboratory activities foster learnings and de develop positive attitudes among students. Teachers also observed the potentials of blended laboratory setting to improve the engagement and active participation of the students. For references, here are. That's all. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.